Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So guys, in this tutorial, let's take a look at the problem which was asked in the fourth slot of Accenture coding round, which was held on 21st July. But before starting the tutorial, make sure to check out my previous video on balls and boxes problem, which was the second question asked in the same slot. Also, do subscribe to my channel to never miss any updates. Now let's start the tutorial. So the problem given was, we have an array of integers which contains positive and negative integers. We need to rearrange the array in place such that the negative integers are to the left of the array and positive integers to the right of it. We also have to make sure that we retain the order of the elements as they appear in the array. So consider this is the array and we need to return this array where the negative numbers appear to the left of the array without changing their order which means that if minus 2 is appearing before minus 7 and minus 7 before minus 1 then the result array should also maintain this arrangement. In the case of positive integers also, we need to maintain the same order. So let's see the approach. Here we are going to need two variables. Suppose i which will be used to iterate over the array and variable j which will be used to store the position where the next negative integer will be placed. Since we have to store them to the left of the array, we initialize j to 0. And after every rearrangement, we increment it by 1. Okay. So when i equals to 1, we encounter the first negative element that is minus 2. Now we will shift the elements before minus 2 to the right and store minus 2 at jth position that is at index 0. Details about how to do this are discussed later in the video. So now we have minus 2 at 0th index and 1 at index 1. After it, we will increment j to denote that the next negative element will be placed at index 1. Then again at index i equals to 4 we get minus 7. Since we already have minus 2 at its correct position, we will shift all the elements from index j which is 1 to index i that is till 4th index and then place minus 7 that is shift 1 to 5, 5 to 2 and 2 to minus 7 and again minus 7 to 1. Now again we will increment j. Now at index i equals to 6 we get minus 1. Since minus 2 and minus 7 are already in their correct position, we will shift all the elements from index j which is 2 till 6th index that is 1 to 5, 5 to 2, 2 to 4 and 4 to minus 1 then place minus 1 at index 2. Now there are no more negative elements left to rearrange in the array. Also you can observe that not only we have rearranged all the negatives to the left and positives to the right, we have also maintained their order of appearance. So now let's see the code. Here I have created a function called rearrange array with integer array as its argument as well as its return type. So since we need to keep track of where the next negative element will go, I have created a variable j which is initialized to 0, meaning that the first negative element will be stored at 0th position. Next I have created an element variable to store the current array element. Then I have created a for loop to access every array element. Now in the loop we will first check if the current element is negative. If so, then we will save it in the element variable. Next, we will use another for loop which will right shift elements from i position till j minus 1 index. After the for loop terminates, we will have the elements right shifted. Finally, we will place the negative integer stored in element at j position and increment j, which means that the next negative element will be stored after the previous neg negative element from the left of the array. And finally, we will return the array. Now let's check the output of our code. I have already created some arrays to test our code. Observe the output. Our code is working perfectly fine and giving us the correct results. So that's it for this video guys. Please subscribe to my channel as I have planned to post more such tutorials which will help you guys to crack the coding rounds. Thanks for watching.